Well, hello everyone. This is CJ with Cycletron. Thought it was time to give an update on our uh, Harley Project bike. We bought this at a Copart auction as a salvage bike uh, this past May, and it's been kind of an ordeal getting OEM uh, replacement Harley parts. So most about what I learned about this uh, project has to do with how to get OEM uh, Harley parts right now. Uh, we tried to get the dents out the best we could. Um, I even broke down and talked to a couple uh, paintless dent repair guys and they said they couldn't do anything with it. The, the paint's too uh, thick, the steel's too thick. It would probably require a conventional repair that would involve repainting the tank, which I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So I decided to just get the bike back on the road. Everything on, on the bike is finished for the most part. It's all functional. I got two small issues. Uh, we had to get a replacement tail light. It was working briefly, and then I think there's some kind of short. Now it's not working. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where the fuse box was on this bike, and it turns out there's only three main fuses. A 40 amp fuse, uh, which is the main fuse, and two 15 amp fuses. All other electrical circuit protections provided by the body control module, or the BCM, and it's basically a circuit board. So I decided I'm going to take this to my local Harley dealership. I talked to their shop. They do what's called a pre-ride inspection. I'm going to pay them about 100 bucks to them go through the bike, just a second pair of eyes, check torques, see if there's anything I overlooked. Um, my two teenage boys really did all the work on replacing the broken parts on this bike, and they did a great job. Uh, one of the trickier things turned out to be adjusting the clutch cable. If you watch YouTube videos, they talk about how you uh, tighten it by turning to the left. It's a reverse threaded screw. And then as soon as you get tight on the clutch plate, you back it off a quarter turn, but that still wasn't working. My local Harley dealership, if you go there in person, they'll let you talk briefly to their, their shop techs and their mechanics. And he gave us a great tip. He said, uh, when you take the derby cover off here, uh, look at the end of the mechanism where the clutch cable goes in and uh, first you loosen it up and then you tighten it such that when it starts moving up and to the right and as soon as it stops moving that's your your tight spot and then back it off a quarter turn so uh, that's what you want to do there okay so let's talk about replacement parts first of all I learned that this Roadster is quite a bit different than a regular 1200 Sportster so we had uh, a couple of false starts with the parts folks ordering parts that went to a different Sportster and we had to get those reordered. Uh, the final, it took forever to get a clutch cable in and uh, the, they couldn't get the uh, speedometer in, it was back ordered. They told me that only three Harley dealerships across the country had one and that they wouldn't sell it to my local dealership. Well, now I, I heard that maybe it was gonna come in December. So I talked to a different Harley parts guy and uh, he said, you know, if you call a dealer that has the part they may sell it to the consumer they won't sell it to another dealer because they have to sell it to each other for the discounted price so there's no money to be made for whatever reason my local dealership didn't tell me that I ended up uh, finding that there were two well, I called this parts guy at a different Harley dealership he told me that there were two speedos for this bike in uh, the Sacramento area and one in New York and uh, I got this tip early in the morning so I knew the New York shop was open so I called them uh, gave my credit card information three days later. I had my speedo So uh, I'm gonna return the order or cancel the order for the speedo on my, for my local dealer One thing that surprised me as soon as we hooked it up it immediately read the uh, Mileage from the ECM the computer on the bike. So let's start it up real quick show you what it sounds like It runs great, and uh, I'm going to 
take it in like I said the uh, check engine light is on I'm thinking that might be because I reconnected the wiring harnesses for the speedo and the, the dash or the warning lights I find sometimes on these newer bikes if you disconnect some electrical component sometimes it takes uh, the computer a bit of time to reset or it could be another issue I don't know and I'm thinking the reason why the taillight's not working is we, this bike was wrecked and we had to replace the taillight and there was a bit of bare wire that I missed and I think it touched the steel fender and created a short but since there's no fuse to replace I'm hoping that they can plug it into the diagnostic computer and reset the fault on the VCM and uh, and get the tail light working again. I'm not sure how that's going to work, so we're going we're to find out. So let's get back to the parts again. Uh, you can certainly go aftermarket. I was trying to go OEM with everything. Uh, it's taking weeks, if not months, to get Harley parts right now. So uh, there's a couple options. This bike still has about a year warranty left on it. Harley Davidson has what's called the down bike program. This is more for warranty repairs than crash bikes. Uh, they wouldn't use that down bike program to help me get my speedometer any faster. But if you can get Harley to agree to replace a, war a, a part under warranty and it's otherwise unavailable in inventory, supposedly they'll take a part off a bike that was about to be produced at the factory and send it to your dealership so you can buy it and put it on your bike or or have it fixed under warranty and not have to wait weeks if not months for the replacement part. So that was uh, good information. But you know, I just didn't have time to really run this down with what was going on in these parts. I was trying to be patient for five or six months. We kind of missed our summer window for f fixing this bike and then flipping it. I'm certainly not gonna sell a bike uh, in late fall or in the dead of winter. So we'll wait till the spring get the few little bugs worked out on this. My wife repaired the seat, had some uh, some tears in it. She re-glued it. It looks great. I think you can tell maybe where she repaired it, but certainly a lot cheaper than, I mean, for a few cents than buying a new seat. So uh, I really like this bike. Look forward to riding it. Um, tomorrow I got to get some insurance on it, then I'm going to take it to my local Harley shop, let them go through it, and uh, work out the few little kinks that I have in it right now. And we'll go from there, but it's been a, f a fun project. My uh, two youngest boys did almost all the work in terms of replacing the broken parts. I will say, one of the things I learned about Harley OEM parts is, let's say you're, uh, you know, I ordered the speedometer. Well, I didn't realize there's a back cover to the speedometer, which is sold separately. The screws that hold the back cover are sold separately. So what we did, fortunately, when we uh, stripped all the broken parts off this bike, we put them in a cardboard box. And I can't tell you how many instances we had of going back to that box and taking little fasteners or little screws or this cover that I thought was gonna be part of the new Speedo and wasn't, I, I just hit it with some spray paint to cover up the scratches and, and reused it. Uh, so that was a, both a time and money saver. But uh, Harley doesn't seem to really believe in uh, parts assemblies. Uh, I guess that could be good or bad. So you got to be really detailed when you, you take stuff off a bike, note all the fasteners, where they went, put them in la labeled Ziploc bags. You may even want to take them up to your uh, local parts department and make sure they're ordering the right piece and then save that part in case you have to scavenge any kind of fastener or clip or what have you uh, when you get the new part in and want to reinstall it on your bike. So please let me know your thoughts. Are these tips useful? Have you had other uh, experiences that would relate to putting together uh, replacing broken parts on a Harley Davidson motorcycle? Please let me know in the comments section and please stay tuned for future videos. Thanks very much. Oh, that's fun.